What's going on, people? I am Wesley from A Connection TV, the one and only YouTube channel where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. This particular video is going to be about Bleach, baby, episode 277, right after Sui Fan basically destroys Baragon with her missile Bankai, which, by the way, is the illest freaking, well, it's not the illest Bankai, but it's hot. Because you would think that Soifan would be like on some very stealthy type, you know, quick type action with her uh, Bankai, but she's not. She has to pull out this huge ass missile to destroy Baragon. But when the release of the missile is done and the impact hits Baragon, the sky basically explodes and this huge force pushes, pushes everybody back. It lets you know the insane strength of her Bankai. Even with the uh, the metal sheath that was wrapped around her, when she used when she tried to use that to 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 hold her balance going back, it tears. That's how powerful you see this Bankai. Her Bankai is. If you don't watch Bleach, okay, um, you need to go to Bleach Get. Dot com to really get into it because I can't really go in full depth and detail. I'm on episode 277. If you haven't watched it, then you have a lot of catching up to do. Okay, but what I will say about this particular episode, uh, Soifan just got finished beating uh, Baragon, and Baragon was basically the controller of time. And you know, I kind of wondered how the hell Soifan will come up to finally beat him. And I was like, why the hell is she not doing her Bankai? Well, she decides to do her Bankai, which is like the special power of the Shinigami because that's what where Sufan is from. She's a Shinigami and she all the Shinigamis have this special 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 power called the Bankai and so she finally decides to use her Bankai against Baragon the controller of time. Basically turns him to dust with her missile launcher. Cool move and it was also cool how Omega although he got pushed back by the release of the Bankai, smashed into the building because Omeda is just so whack. And Omeda is Soifan's second in command. So Omeda smashed into the building. And he sees his captain, you know, flying to the air because she just released her missile Bankai. That even she can't control once it's released because it's that powerful. It was very cool to see Omeda, although in his weakened state, Use his, his ability to climb up on top of the building, go to the side of the building, come around, and then shoot to catch the captain. That was so that was so cool to see Omega being able to do that. Because although Suifan really despises <laughs> Omega in her way, in a way that she treats him, she was relieved that Omega was able to catch her. And yet she still had to say, get your filthy hands off me. It was cool. I like the dynamic between Sufan and Omega. Great writing. So we move on to Kairaku and um, Stark. Now, Kairaku seems to be like very cocky. Like very, very cocky. And I'm, I'm just like, what the hell can this dude do? What is Kairaku's Bankai? Because this dude is cocky as hell. He's going up against number one. Okay. Uh, the first Arankar and um, named Stark. And Stark is like very nonchalant. You know, they're dodging. They're playing with each other. Kairaku and Stark are playing with each other. And they're like, you know, I'm not in the mood to fight you, but okay, we'll fight. Whatever, all right, you know, whatever. Now we're at a point now where Hatsuguya had just defeated number three. Um, Soifan defeated number two. And now Kairaku is going up against Stark, who's number one. Right off the bat, I'm like, all right, he's cool. You know, Western cowboy in the air. You know, cool with the guns, okay? And then in Bleach fashion, you know, it gives the comedic thing where, you know, Stark is really trying to talk to, uh, you know, many me one. And, you know, he starts to finger his ass. What the fuck? Anime is so twisted and comical. They find humor in everything. And so first Stark hits the, the dude in the head and he's like, oh, that's my head. And then Stark for like five minutes out of the freaking episode is fingering the, the damn boy. And he's like, the boy is telling him that's my butt. And Stark is just. Once we get past this, we realize that Stark can shoot Cyril's from uh, the guns. That's not special. 
Why do we care about that? Then he releases this thing where, you know, he's shooting like thousands and thousands and thousands of zeros all at once from one gun. And Kairaku was really avoiding all of these, you know, these shots because as a Shinigami, he, you know, he has this fast step and he gets to move and dodge all the bullets and all this. But it gets to a point where, you know, he can't dodge all of them and so he's saved. By Ukitaki who releases his own serial towards Stark. WTF. When could Ukitaki release a serial? This happens a lot with animation. There's always a hidden secret. There's always something. And that keeps the story going. That's why a lot of these anime writers needs to write for a lot of our movies, our action movies. They're great writers. They're definitely great writers. Anime writers really spend a lot of time on emotional attachments and they allow for you to adopt those connections with the characters that you're viewing. And so Ukitaki can release a zero now. And we still don't know what Kaiyuraku's Bankai is. And Stark has yet to really release his full potential. What's going to happen? And what's going to happen when, you know, um, Aizen and the others are released from the flames? Now, I know the manga is out. And I've decided I've had a conscious note. Not to watch the manga for Bleach. Because the manga for Naruto is really like destroyed like my want to know what's gonna happen because I know what's gonna happen already. It's like 45 episodes before the actual anime series. So I don't want that to happen with Bleach because I like tuning into Bleach every Tuesday on bleach bleachget.com. I like tuning into Bleach every Tuesday. I don't wanna know what's gonna happen. So. You know, the manga is cool, but I'll leave the manga read for Shippuden because I've already, I'm already on 500, uh, the 500th episode for manga. But for Bleach, I'm all about the episodes because so, I like watching the episodes. They're awesome. And the animation is cool. Get into BleachGet.com. Check it out. I'm Wes from A Connection TV. Adopt this connection with me and fall in love with Bleach, baby, because Bleach is hot. Yes. Later.